All right, wiring this thing is uh, no easy feat. Uh, it's actually very simple. You're just gonna take a wire from the uh, charger and run it back here to your uh, like middle console storage area. <clears throat> the problem is uh, all of this in here is very tightly like packed with insulation. There's a metal chassis running through here. Uh, it's all super solid Porsche. There's very little space in there. So uh, while this should take, you know, five minutes to install, it took me uh, a good half hour uh, to do just because uh, getting the wire through there is super frustrating. But, uh, and I can't really show you exactly how I did it, but I'll just, I'm going to give you all the pointers. Uh, so this comes out, it's just uh, under the rubber mat is two screws and then you disconnect the power for the lighter uh, you can see where my cable is running uh, this same thing you pull the rubber mat out two screws uh, I think uh, both sets of screws were t20 uh, torques um, this uh, little bucket conveniently already has a hole drilled in the, or cut out in the bottom under the mat um, so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this so you can see the hole. So everything is <laughs> super tight. Um, so you can just see, uh, I actually don't really need to pull that out for you, but wire is going to go through there. Uh, when you do go through, there's a nice opening here on this side versus this side is very thin and um, the cup holder is going to mash it. So I think uh, over here is nice and big. Uh, and then the wire, you can see, I mean, this is all like super solid. Um, there's actually a nice channel. So my wire is going to run or does run up through here on this side of the shifter and then up to the charger. Um, that said, uh, sounds very easy and it's uh, not. So uh, put your shifter down into drive um obviously this wouldn't be in for you yet uh this uh piece of trim is really easy uh you take out that stupid uh cigarette holder thing that they that your car came with and then you can just uh kind of lift up on this and that's going to give you a little bit of access now so so with that popped up i don't know if i can get this in here you can kind of see uh you have some access so you're gonna run a uh, wire from the charger into the hole. It kind of has to go through the hole and then up and then over. So that's gonna take you a lot longer than you want it to. Uh, the good thing about the shifter, everything's enclosed. So you really have no chance of like binding up your shifter uh, or causing, you know, uh, malfunctions in there. But uh, wire goes along the side here. And then from here to here, uh, and it could have just been me, but this took, it's just, it's just hard to fish it through maybe with a stiff wire and then tape it to a stiff wire to get it through. Um, obviously you don't want to, uh, break anything. Um, somebody probably has, uh, a way, uh, you know, there's probably a how to, if you can remove this trim and then this box comes out, it might make your life easier. Anyway, I didn't do that. Why I just sit there, there. And that's it. So that's basically how it's going to install. Um, it's just a matter of uh, fishing that wire through there. So if you're good at that stuff, uh, go for it. If not, uh, maybe take it to a car stereo place. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, and then everything just kind of uh, pops back into place, screws in. Um, this connects here. You can actually route it uh, so the mat will actually fit back in and then the cable will just poke out the side uh, just remember to put all your electrical connections back together there you go all right so here it is all put back together uh, you can see uh, this is what I was talking about with the mat uh, comes out that hole and then just around and uh, your mat goes right back in and then uh, obviously just double check your uh... <clears throat> I turn on the car uh, check your shifter, make sure it's not binding up or anything like that, uh, which it shouldn't because every that whole shifter is like enclosed in a box there. So as long as your wire went out on the outside of that box, 
uh, shouldn't have any problem.